Alrighty, what are our three similarity conditions? There's three of them. So the three that we have are angle, angle, side, 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 angle, side. Those are the three that we can use. So go ahead on your paper, write 19, and then maybe at the top of 19, right next to it, write these down. These are the three ways that we can show that they are similar. Okay, remember, if you find two matching angles, you automatically know they're similar with angle, angle. If you have sides that all have the same zoom factor, then you know they're all similar. If you just have two sides with the same factor and the angle in the middle is equal, then you can say that they're similar that way. Okay, so go ahead and copy down the triangle from part A on your paper. And we're gonna come up with a flow chart. That's how we prove whether or not they're similar is we have to use a flow chart. So remember our flow charts, we usually have three, I need to zoom out a little more. I cannot fit that all in here. We usually have, this is for A, we usually have three different facts at the top, okay? We have three facts if we're using side, angle, side, or side, side, side. If it's angle, angle, then we just use two. So looking at A, what condition do you think I'm going to use as I try to adjust it so you can see it? What condition do you think we can use for A? Is it angle, angle, side, angle, side, or side, side, side? So I have a couple people thinking it might be side, 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 and I would have to agree with you guys. I think for A, this is definitely going to be side, 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 and this is how I do flow charts. I always put what I'm using on the top of my bubbles just to show that I'm doing side, side, side. The reason why we're doing side, 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 I'm gonna zoom in here real quick on A. There are no angles in A. I have literally no angles that I can compare, so it's impossible for me to use the other two. I can't talk about angles because there's no angles here that I know, okay? So this is definitely a side, side, side problem. So what we now need to do is we need to compare sides. We need to make fractions for our sides. Very similar to what we just did down here, making those fractions, okay? So let's start with this side of nine. Okay, what side corresponds with that side of nine? Three. three, yeah, I think on this other triangle, this is like the left side. This is the left side there. I think those correspond with each other. So we're gonna do nine over three. Whoops, that is another nine. Again, kind of how we talked about last time, you could do three over nine. Doesn't matter which one you do, but if you wanna do nine over three or three over nine, that works. What does nine over three reduce to? It reduces three. to three. So that is our zoom factor. Hopefully you recognize that. We're just taking three, multiplying it by three to get nine. What we have to do now is check the other two sides and make sure that they all have a zoom factor of three. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a different color here and I'm gonna check side 18 out. So what side corresponds with 18? or side Six. TE, huh? Six. Yeah, it's gonna be this side here, right? That right side corresponds with the 18. So I'm gonna do 18 over six, and what does that simplify to? Three. Maybe. Yeah, it's going three. Yeah, I think this is, they're all gonna turn out as three on this one. But uh, hopefully you're starting to recognize that that's how this works. All you're doing is you're taking each side, comparing it to the other triangle's corresponding side. Make your fraction, so I have 12 over four. 12 over four equals three. 
So all three sides have the same zoom factor. Since they all ended up with a three, we can then conclude that triangle T E S is similar to triangle A, that is not an A, to A W K. How did we know that? We knew that by side, side, side similarity. That's how you do a flow chart for side, side, side. Okay, I know that there has to be some questions out there for this problem. What is one of the questions you have? <laughs> okay, maybe, yeah, maybe we, this was just a good refresher. I do wanna point out, I did big over little. I could have done all of these fractions the other way. I could have done three over nine. I could have done six over 18. I could have done four over 12, right? And all of these would have reduced to one third. So it doesn't matter which way you write it, just as long as you're being consistent, right? If you're doing little over big, then do little over big. If you're doing big over little, then do big over little, but don't switch midway. Because if I would have wrote six over 18 here and would have put one third, I might think that this is not similar, but they were. Okay, so do be very, very careful with that. Your goldfish brain remembers this, get out of here. Uh, how many points would a question like this be worth? I give you a point for every bubble on the question like this. Every single bubble gets you a point. These are easy points here. So I give you a point for this bubble, a point for that bubble, a point for that bubble, a point telling me that they are similar, not that they are equal. These are not equal triangles, right? They are not the same triangle. They are similar. And then I give you a point for telling me it was side, side, side. So five points. All right, let's do, I think we should do an angle, angle problem here. That's why I wanted to do C. All right, so let's do C, copy down C. And now I have um, ruined what I wanted to ask because I just told you it was an angle angle problem. My question was going to be, what condition should we use here? Is it side, side, side? Is it side, angle, side? Or is it angle, angle? Well, I've already ruined it because I've told you already that it is angle, angle that we wanna try. Can someone explain why we want to try angle, angle here? Like I see that there are angles, I see that there are two of them, and I have no sides. I cannot do what I just did over here for A. I can't put a side over a side for C because there are no sides for me to use. Okay, so that's, that's another big hint for you, that for this, the only one that might work here is angle, angle. Now, for angle, angle, what we have to do is we have to show that two angles equal each other. So looking here, what two angles equal each other? Yeah, the 55 degrees, right? We all see that angle N and angle K are both 55 degrees. So my first bubble that I can put here is angle N equals the measure of angle K. So we are good, we are halfway there to proving they are similar. We have shown two angles are the same. Now I hope that you all recognize that angle M and angle P do not equal each other at all. So what do you think I should do? Yeah we wanna find one of those missing angles because as it stands, as it stands, I cannot write in here, I can't say that measure of angle M equals the measure of angle P. That's not true because they don't. They don't equal each other. But I don't know yet if they are similar or not because who knows, right? This angle down here at E, it might be 53 degrees. Or this angle over here at O, it could be 72. So we have to find the missing angle, just for one of them. Find the missing angle, and then we can prove or not if they are similar or if they're not similar. So Angelina did a great thing, and that's kind of what Kiara mentioned earlier. 
is that all of the angles in the triangle add to 180. So if I'm looking here at this first guy, I'm going to write out basically what Angelina wrote. I'm gonna write that I have, let's see, where the heck do I have room? I'll do it here. I have 72 degrees plus 55 degrees plus, I'll just call this X. We know all of them added up equal 180. Take a second, solve that. Let me know what is it equal. All right, I got one guess for the missing angle. A second guess, that's the same number. Again, use your calculator if you need to. I'm gonna take 72, I'm gonna add it to 55. That makes 127, so I have 127 plus X equals 180. All right, I'm gonna subtract 127 on both sides. So X equals 180 minus 127. So I do 180 minus 127. What do you know? Okay, that missing angle there for X is 53 degrees. Okay, this is why you can't just look at the two angles that were given and say, oh, only one matches, so they're not similar. Because what happens is, is there are, the other ones are matching, okay? This X here, it actually is 53 degrees, which means that O over here would have to be 72 degrees. So now you just get to take your pick of what angle you wanna show matching. It doesn't matter which one you write. I'll go ahead and do that the measure of angle M equals the measure of angle O. If you wanted to write the measure of angle E equals the measure of angle P, you could do that as well. But all we need to show is two angles match. We did. So now we can say that these two triangles are similar. So actually, I'm gonna let you guys tell me how should I write that these triangles are similar? Because it matters. Remember, it matters how we name it. So Bao is saying he wants to do M-N-E. So he's saying name this one M-N-E. So 72 to 55 to 53. And he wants to name it O-K-P. I totally agree with that, Bao. That is one way you could show or name that they are similar. This is angle-angle similarity. Did someone else name these differently? So this is how Bao did it. Bao went from the 72 to 55 to 53. So that's how he named it. He just traced the angles, matched the angles up. That's how he named it. He did M-N-E, O-K-P. Did anyone else name it differently? Because there are like lots of ways to name these. I mean, you could do that, Abner. That's what I'm trying to say. If you wanted to name this first triangle men, M-E-N, what would the other triangle have to be named then? So notice that I went 72 to 53 to 55. Do that same thing here. Start at 72, go to 53, go to 55. And that would be OPK. Yeah, OPK. And then Madison did NEM to KPO. That works too. There's lots of ways to name it, right? If I'm going from 72 to 53 to 55, I can't all of a sudden do 72 to 55, right? I can't switch it. I have to go in that same order. Yeah. All righty, guys. Super good. And that, again, is uh, a flow chart. We've proven that they're similar. Again, if I was grading this for the test... I would give you a point for each bubble and then make sure at the end you tell me what you used, angle, angle. Okay, really, really good question there. Um, we only got about 10 minutes left of class. So for the sake of time, I don't want to cover D now because we just need to move on. But please understand that D, D was a uh, side angle side reference because you have to look at what you were given and you're given two sides, right? Two different sides here. I got the sevens 
Oop, that's cool. I got the seven and the 12 side. I have the 14 and the 24. And then we have this angle in the middle that's matching. So your three bubbles would be side, the angle, and the side. Check to see that the sides have the same zoom factor. Check that your angle has the same value and it's the same, same way, okay? 